So we're going to jump back into Stephen Bradshaw's evidence to the post office Horizon IT inquiry. We joined during an exchange between the post office and Fujitsu where essentially Gareth Jenkins says, I can't really help you with these call logs because no one's asked us to retrieve them. And even if we did, you've not requested the underlying data to make any sense of them to see whether what's claimed in the calls has happened or why it's happened. So it, presumably then the next steps will be to request that data and then analyse the call logs. Let's see what Stephen and Bradshaw has to say about it and jump into the inquiry. Could we please have a look at poll 00059861? This is the same day and it's comments received from Mr Jenkins on the addendum defence statement. Do you recall Mr Jenkins' involvement in this? I, I, I know Mr Jenkins, yeah. I know of him. Did you have direct contact with Mr Jenkins? I, I don't recall <coughs> any direct contact. I've met him on a couple of occasions and I think this is one occasion in Bradford Crown Court when he was... Uh, Listed for witness, or uh, if, if the most I've met him about once or twice, and no, no real, no telephone conversations with him. Uh, he says there, I, I've been asked to comment on the addendum defence case statement uh, in the case of <coughs> Mr. Ishak, and if we scroll down, we can see his comments. Um, so there's a section there, the Horizon Online system. Uh, and this is in the defence statement, it says the Horizon Online system would often crash and freeze and would give inaccurate total figures. And he says as follows, he says, I'm aware that there were some issues in the early days of Horizon Online. However, I don't believe that these impacted the overall accounting at the end of the periods provided uh, recovery was carried out correctly. So that's somewhat caveated. Providing recovery uh, was carried out correctly, it shouldn't have impacted on the figures. He says the migration date was well into the full rollout and the branch was not operating Horizon Online during the pilot. If we scroll over the page, he then addresses all of those reports and he says as follows, just below, if we could scroll down slightly. He says, I have no easy visibility of these reports. It's possible to retrieve them from the system and examine them, but I'm not aware of them having been provided in evidence. I have certainly not been asked to examine them, but I'm happy to do so. What use is really this statement if they don't retrieve the things that's being asked? What was the point in asking the question of the sub-postmaster? Can you tell us about the issues you've had if that the reports aren't going to be looked into and then commented on in their substance and submitted in evidence? I appreciate the time difficulties here with this at the time, but then surely then the response is going to be, this isn't available yet, but we do need to get it as soon as possible and let the court know of the delay. If the details of the reports have not yet been provided, then there is a process to ask for them uh, to be provided by Fujitsu. He says, I'm checking to see if these reports have been retrieved and submitted as evidence. If so, I'll try and get a hold of them. However, as the period of the calls outlined above has little overlap with the period for which detailed transaction logs have been obtained, it's likely there is not much that can be done to tie them together without getting more information. So the logical next step there is presumably to get more ARQ data covering the times highlighted in these Horizon report logs. Thank you. Can we now turn to FUJ 00153997, please? And we have an email from Gareth Jenkins um, to the legal team. And he says, thanks for the update on another case. And he says, I've added some comments to the defence case statement addendum. And that's the comments that we've just seen. He says, I've now had confirmation that Fujitsu have not supplied details of any help desk calls to Post Office Limited regarding this branch. Therefore, there's nothing I can easily do to address any specifics. Uh, the suggestion there is that the call logs from Fujitsu had not been obtained at this point. That's a possibility, but I have, I've never seen that email. Yes, it's, exactly. it's, uh, I'm, not, I'm not on it. It's gone you yourself it. didn't have any contact with no. Fujitsu no. requesting the no. call logs. What do you recall you did once you received the defence statement in terms of investigating underlying issues with the Horizon system? As, as I've explained... When, when the defence, any defence statement comes, I will act on any instructions from, in this case, Cartwright King, whatever work they want to do. Total reliance on Cartwright King? On Cartwright King, what they want doing. I wouldn't go off on the tangents to go 
to do my own investigation. So it will be interesting to hear from those lawyers who worked for Cartwright King in Phase 5 and 6, which is coming up in four days' time, starting on Tuesday the 9th of April. We have, as we've seen, the 2009 media articles, Seema Misra report, growing cases challenging Horizon, by this time, Second Sight's involvement. Uh, were, you not more con were you not concerned that there was more investigation that should be carried out? In and that would be done by the relevant people, not me as the individual. Were you asking anybody to carry out a greater investigation? I, I would not ask, because, again, when the Second Sight and everything come on board, the business as the post office would have instructed people or put people in place to do that, not me as the individual. But you, you were the investigator. That's correct, yes. And as, and as I've explained, I will have passed over everything I had in my possession to the, the lawyers. Disclosure Anything. is one thing, yeah. but you were the investigator. Were you not investigating the Horizon I, I would not go and invest everything the Horizon. I'm not technically gifted to investigate any errors in, within the um, any <coughs> technical issues within the Horizon system. That will be done by other people within the business. And to be fair, that seems like a fair comment. Ultimately, the responsibility lies with Fujitsu and possibly someone more senior at the post office or somebody, as we've heard of in the covert recordings from the post office IT department. But ultimately, it seems like the failing here is nobody at the post office has cottoned on to that and decided that that's a valid line of investigation. Maybe something he could have done, and this is, of course, with hindsight, could have said to someone, I'm not capable of doing this, but clearly we need to look into these horizon issues that are being reported. Um, before we break for lunch, I'd like to take you to the opening note in the Shack case. That's at poll 00059890. Thank you. This is... The opening note from counsel for the prosecution in Mr. Ishak's case. Could we please look at page five, paragraph 19. The, uh, that being the case, it may be that the defendant will accept responsibility for the transactions, but claim that there is some sort of problem with the Horizon system. If so, he has yet to produce any dem evidence to demonstrate that is so. The Crown will call evidence from the designer of the system to prove that there is no fault in the system at all. And that's quite a definitive statement there, which it doesn't feel like that is conveyed in the same way during the internal communications. Not no fault affecting the balancing, just no fault affecting the system at all. But how can they conclusively say that without A, investigating the system, and B, investigating those call logs that have been referenced? And again, saying that he's not provided any evidence at all, he can't provide anything more than his side of the conversation and the call reference logs, can he? Because it's not the sub-postmaster who can in instigate an investigation into the Horizon system, nor has access to the Horizon system to do that, even if they wanted to, for example, take on a technical expert to do that. He's provided everything that the post office asked for in that letter that they sent to them. So it does feel somewhat unfair, that statement being made after the fact, when the case starts. Do you think that that was accurate? That, that's their advice. I've, as I've said numerous times, you know, as Mr. Rizak was asked for, what was the malfunction? That, that, that's the advice from the, the lawyers. And I am assuming that the last bit, the Crown would call evidence from the designer and they're the referring to Mr. Jenkins. And he would say that there's no fault in the system at all? That, that's their opinion. We're now in 2013. You had all those years of complaints about Horizon, um, all that evidence put before you relating to problems with Horizon. Uh, and you're, were you in court hearing the opening? Did it, I, was, I was in court for that because it was called as a witness. Um, and you heard the words being said uh, that there is some, the claim is that there's some sort of problem with the Horizon system. If so, he's yet to produce any evidence to demonstrate that is so. I was Were you at, not a bit worried at that stage? I was at court on the day. I was not in the actual court when the, the trial begins because it was a witness. So I would be outside. But knowing that that was how the prosecution were putting their case, were you not a bit nervous? As I said, I was outside in the court waiting to be called as a witness. Um, paragraph 20, the defendant was suspended from it his duties at the Birkinshaw post office and a new sub-postmaster was introduced in his place, Abdullah Patel. Uh, for more than a year, he has run the post office and in that time there have been no problems reported at all. No unexplained horizon malfunctions, no stock discrepancies requiring huge reversals, no mysterious discrepancies of disappearances of cash. 
And we know that's not the case because we know all those small that he admits in his own statement that there were shortfalls that he made good of up to around £20, he thought. I think we did hear, did read in Mr Patel's statement that at least there was some discrepancies, wasn't there? In Mr Patel's words, there were minor, and I think most postmasters would say they have minor discrepancies. Yes. Um, do you think that the summary of the position that's being put in, in these paragraphs is a fair summary? That's, Having, that, for example, advice, not, underli- not investigated the underlying issues with the Horizon system? As, it, as I said, that Cartwright King, that's their advice, and, and that, that's what they put for the courts. You were a witness in that case, and you provided a witness statement in that case. That's right. Were you not at all concerned in 2013 about the state of the Horizon system? I I gave my evidence, and I was cross-examined by the defence, and nothing untoward come from it. There was something untoward. There was a prosecution, a conviction, and then a successful appeal. At the time time of the case, when I gave my evidence, nothing nothing untoward come back to me in 2013 from the defence and cross-examined. Thank you, sir. Might that be an appropriate moment to take a lunch? Thank you. Um, Two o'clock? Yes. Fine.